Now let us discuss here about document object in JavaScript. So whenever HTML document is loaded into the web browser, then it becomes document object. Here among all the objects, document object is the root node in which it contains all other nodes. By using document object, we can access any other node, any other element present in the web page. Now let us see the properties of the document object. So mainly document object has five properties. First property is busy color. It is useful in order to set background color for the entire document. Second one is FG color. It is useful in order to set foreground color for the document. Here foreground color means the test color. Next one is title. In order to set the title for the document, we use title property. Okay. Next one is forms. It is useful in order to return a forms collection. That means let us assume that in our web page, we have used five forms. Then it will return those five forms. Next one is links. It returns links collection. That is the elements which are having href attribute. So let us assume that in our web page we have used three anchor tag elements but only two anchor tag elements has href attribute. Then links, the links property returns true. So it returns an anchor tag whose attribute is href. It returns the count. Next one is anchors. It returns anchors collection that is the anchor tag element which name attribute collection if an anchor tag has name attribute then only the it, it returns the corresponding count suppose if an anchor tag doesn't have name attribute then it it doesn't returns that uh, collection okay now let us discuss about all these properties one by one with the help of an example uh, let us see the example so here we have uh, we have written uh, uh, this is the body so within the body tag we, we created two younger tags. A, href is equal to google.com. A, href is equal to gmail.com. Name is equal to first. Okay. So here, uh, so two tags, two younger tags have the attribute called href. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, uh, what is the links collection? Links collection retains two. Next, only one younger tag have the attribute name. So it returns anchor collection as only one. Why? Because only one anchor tag has name attribute. So links collection is two, whereas name, the, this anchors collection is one. And next, let us see about form. We have created three forms. So forms collection is three. Next, document.bc color is equal to pink. So the entire document background color will become pink. Next, the text color will become red. Next, document.title. So, what is the title here? Setting the title using the title property. So, this uh, the, the corresponding web page title will become setting the title using the title property. Next, to document.write. Just we have uh, displayed uh, uh, all those collections. Number of forms used in the document are documents dot document dot forms dot length. So, totally we have used three forms. So, the output is three. Next, number of links used in the document are document.links.length. So, two anchor tags has href attribute. So, links collection 2. Okay. Next, number of anchor tag used in the document are only one anchor tag has name attribute. So, it returns anchor collection as only one. Now, let us execute the program. So, here the output is 3, 2, 1. So if you observe here, so first, uh, first anchor tag, first link Google, next to second one Gmail. So number of forms used in the document are three, number of links are two, number of anchors are one. Uh, and uh, what is the background color? Pink. Whereas what is the test color? Foreground color, red. So in this way, we can use properties of the document object. Now, uh, so till now we have seen properties. Now let us see about methods of the document object. So the first method is write method, second one is write element, 
the odd one is get element by id next one is get elements by class name next one is get elements by name next one is get elements by tag name okay so if we use right method then what will happen is it will displace the corresponding content and the cursor will be at that column only okay in the next cell only the cursor will be placed whereas if we use right align method then what will happen is after displaying the content the cursor will be placed in the next line so ln stands for new line okay next one is get element by id so it returns the elements with the id it returns the element the corresponding element with the id so document dot get element by id of hi within the double quotation or uh, hi so it returns the element with the id hi next one is get elements by class name so if he specifies the class name here then what we have an is it returns all the classes okay uh, let the class name is first so it returns all the elements whose class name is first next one is get elements by name by name so let us uh, uh, we can use uh, a name attribute also so it returns all the elements whose name is name so p name equal to first next to p name equal to second p name equal to again again if you use one more tag h1 name equal to first so if you use first then what will happen it will returns all the elements whose name is first okay next one is get elements by tag name so here we need to specify the tag name so let the tag name is li then it returns all the elements with the tag li okay so this is nothing but right method right ln means it adds the new line so what is get element by id get the element with the specified id next what is get elements by class name get all the elements with the specified class name so instead of id if you specify class name then it will return all the collections all the elements next one is get all the elements with the specified name next one is get all the elements with the corresponding tag name now let us see with the help of an example with the help of an example so here uh, uh, we have uh, yeah this is the body section so p id equal to demo click the button to change the text in this paragraph here what is the paragraph in paragraph we have used id attribute id attribute name is what what is id attribute demo so let us see this function input type equal to button on click is equal to my function one value is equal to id so for button what is the name id so if we click on that button then what will happen control goes to the my function one now let us see what is my function one so we have created my function one within the script tag document dot get element by id demo so here paragraph uh, element has attribute id called demo demo so document dot get element by id of demo so it will returns paragraph element it will return paragraph element so it, if you use dot in an html then what will happen is the content of that paragraph will be changed to the hello world so here if you click on this button then what will happen if you click on this button then what will happen then the content of this paragraph will be changed to the hello world now let us focus on the next one p class is equal to example so here the content is first p element with the class is example p class is equal to example second p element with the class is example so next here uh, we have uh, another paragraph uh, click the button to change the text of the first paragraph element with the class is example index 0 so this is nothing but first paragraph is nothing but index 0 second paragraph is nothing but index 1 okay input type is equal to button on click is equal to my function to value is equal try it if you click on this button try it button then what we have an is control goes to the my function 2 so now control goes to my function 2 so where x is equal to document dot get elements by class name of example so here we have two tags whose class name is example so now x contains both those paragraphs x of 0 will become first paragraph x of 1 will become second paragraph if we use x of 0 dot in the html is equal to hello world then the content of the first paragraph will be changed to the hello world if we use x of 1 then content of the second paragraph will be changed to the hello world okay so here if we click on the second button whose value is right then the content of the first paragraph 
the content of this paragraph first to p element with the class is example that content will be changed to the hello world next we have another list another list mainly contains three items first list item is coffee second list item is tea third list item is milk okay now let us see the content here p id equal to first click the button to display the inner html of the second li element so this is the second element okay if we click on the uh, here here uh, we have a button if we click on the button then what we have to do is we have to change the second list element that is t to hello world so let us see the code here if we click on the button try it then the control goes to the my function tree my function tree where x is equal to documents dot get elements by tag name of here the tag name is li now x contains all the elements okay x of 0 means first list item x of 1 means second list item likewise so document dot get element by id of first so here what is the id here what is the id id here dot inner html is equal to x of 1 dot inner html get element by id of first so here the first is nothing but this paragraph name so this paragraph content will be changed to the second list item content what is the second list item content t so now t will be stored here so x of 1 dot inner html means t so t will be stored in the paragraph whose id is first okay now let us see the program execution let us see the program execution here the name of the web page is document 2 document 2 document 2 so here if you click on the first button then what will happen is the content uh, uh, above will be changed to hello world if you observe here the content is changed to hello world next if you click on the try it button then what will happen the first paragraph will be changed to hello world if you observe here the first paragraph is changed to hello world if you click on this one then what will happen the, the content this paragraph content will be changed to the second list item that is t this paragraph we change it to the T. So this is about uh, uh, document object in JavaScript.